Okay. This is episode three, Adventures in Second Life. The revisiting of a virtual world. Uh, this is your host, Russ McClay. <laughs> and this is my, uh, my avatar in Second Life. I made this avatar probably ten years ago. What would have been, what, 2006 or so. And right now I've got him set. He's using like a set of poses that makes him look kind of like he's a tough guy. And this is my little scene here. My little Dow Lodge. Uh, and maybe we'll have a chance to explain a lot of the stuff in here. This is a little bit that remains from a, a gigantic estate that I used to have here in Second Life. Um, actually out in this body of water which has been many thing it was many things before and it's and then it was my place and then there's been many things hence and now it's just a big pool this costing me uh, forty dollars US a month to have that piece which was it was lovely and, and I might even sometimes dream about doing it again in any case let us move on to the the subject of this episode, episode three, we're going to continue with um, with some of the vehicles, and um, so off we go. So this will become familiar because the next few I plan to do aircraft, and I always fly out of the Hollywood area airport, which is actually S Santa Catalina, but I think they call it. Hollywood Airport. So this is the map which I'm looking at and I just clicked on it and then I'm going to click teleport to go there. Now for today's aircraft I'm going to uh, we're going to fly the Huey which was um, In the very beginning, one of my very favorite flying machines. Now, the interesting thing is, in Second Life, you can fly just as an avatar. So you don't really need anything to fly. You don't need a. Oh, I'm sorry, not a Hue. It's a Bell. Bell, the Bell 47, a civilian aircraft. You know, so that's kind of the funny thing is that, you know, why would you have something to fly in if you can just fly around yourself? Well, a lot of reasons. In this. This particular little machine, why it's better is because um, you can control, like if you're going over a lot of landscape, you can just set it so it cruises at a really nice level speed. That's kind of difficult to do with the controls. So this is this is our um, Bell 47. And it's really primitive. This is like one of the very, very earliest <laughs> aircraft. But it was really so well done. It was this woman. Her name was Mary. I mean, that was her character name. And, uh, yeah, there's a whole history behind that. At one point, she kind of had to leave. And the bummer, I always wanted to modify this, but all the code was she had it locked down. But it was free. <clears throat> but you just couldn't do anything with it. And I had a few options. And this is a really simple craft, so we just get into it. Usually, the way you do things in Second Life, you right click on the object and then um, click on fly. Now, actually, I'm in the wrong seat. <laughs> that was one of the problems. Like I said, this is pretty old. Uh, pretty old bit. Now, let's see here. I'm kind of stuck in it. This is some of the beauty of Second Life is uh, the funkiness but to be expected with something like this which is a really old object now still on that side I probably can still fly it now the interesting thing here you'll notice I'm holding a control tr stick control tr troll stick and uh, max headroom and uh, but I don't I don't have one or there wasn't one so I made one 
and, I, and you just wear it there and you can see uh, the reason it's funky is because he's on the wrong side I'm not sure why okay let's see if we can fix this there we go again set this throw this guy back here and uh, let's see if we have to get over here closer to the left side let's really get in there on the target ah, I did it again ha Well, maybe it's impossible. Yeah, maybe it's impossible. Let's see, did I get in the right side this time? Yay! Okay. Persistence. <laughs> okay, cool. And there's a menu here that popped up for the colors, but the color it is is the color I like. So here we go. Um, here we go. That's a very common expression used in videos. And uh, we just start the engines by typing start. Right. Various commands here in the chat. Back off, it's pretty loud. Right. So we'll just have a little around the airport here and that'll be uh, episode three. Go a little faster here. Get out over the sim into another sim. And. Uh, yes. It's one of the big troubles of Second Life is crossing the sims. So I think you get the idea. Um, this is really a big. This used to be a big no-no to be uh, doing what I'm doing right now. It's <laughs> I'm hovering in front of the uh, landing and the takeoff strips there, the air strips. And my draw distance is very, very short. There is a lot of stuff going on. particles. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, there's, it's such an old uh, aircraft that there's a few little small strange things that happen with the newer code of the servers. So that's it. A little helicopter ride. Episode 3, the old, uh, the good old Bell 47 helicopter. Until the next one, this is your host, Russ McClay. <laughs> Adventures in Second Life.